So back up to do. all your health comes back. Oh, right, oh, your spell is like second day. session. Uh, yeah, sorry, you. Like, so okay. <laughs> Did you take damage? And this is good for you guys too if you've never played before. Die. A long rest just uh, really makes it so that you regain it's all hit five, points. Stays up there. If you have spells, you regain all spell slots. If uh, you used hit dice, you regain half of your hit dice that you used. Uh, very good. She didn't use it. <gasps> So, it is time to showcase what uh, they call the it's like Iron, Iron Arcane Ship. Iron Arcane Ship. Iron Arcane Ship. And down here, all right. Iron Arcane Ship, Arcane. And we're taking more damage. So, I'll take the next one down. In the arena, and every, everyone else uh, kind of goes up in the stands. And Quetzal is escorted uh, where you would normally go to sort of uh, wait Prep. until the, like, where you let out for a week fights. Uh, it's kind of behind the gate thing. Uh, there are 12 other individuals who are also arcane chefs. Um, you seem to be the only avian one. Uh, there's a halfling. There is Dwarf, there's a couple of humans. Uh, it's, it's pretty varied. A deifal? There, uh, there's, yeah, there, there's, there's a deifal. Uh, Not related. No. How many characters, approximately? Would it just be us? There's eight. This there's eight. 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 Okay. Maybe just one big portrait of all of us. Could be. Yeah. All we need. Um. Okay, so the arena is kind of a big open space, right? and there are a series of tables with a number of cooking implements and uh, varying spices and vegetables and the like. Uh, <coughs> you will have free reign to all of that. Uh, sort of seated. There's, it's like there are uh, 14 of these separate tables. Cooking stations. Cooking stations, yeah, uh, and then they're kind of spread around the the, the the perimeter. And in the center, there is a larger table with uh, thirteen. There's only thirteen of you. Thirteen uh, large domed metallic covers over. Like the classic. Yeah, it's a, it's a mystery box. Yeah. Let's call it cloche, by the way. Cloche. Good to know. I don't know why I know that. I just knew. <laughs> I was going to say, why do you know that? Uh, useless knowledge. Excellent. Uh, That's what I'm here for. <laughs> seated at the um, 14th table are three individuals. You see an elf who is wearing uh, the most expensive looking robes you've ever seen in your life uh, who you recognize sort of as Merrick like not sure if they're made of cotton silk or like clouds <laughs> everyone everyone's is like there's there's a lot of white noise from the stands uh, where everyone's like chatting about and some of them are, are like oh Gordon's down there good for them <laughs> Next to the elf is a very surly looking uh, mini with Chef White's a huh? scowl on his face. Oh, he looks we're, super pissed. We're in Chef White's. And Chef White's, and he's got uh, his arms crossed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's just, he's just looking. He's looking at everyone distastefully. Uh, and then the most happy looking individual. <laughs> the <bird just laughs> blissfully and happy. on like sitting Vera. on 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 a stool, because she's so short, uh, is this rotund halfling, uh, just half just looking super happy, 
uh, I shouldn't be here. Like eyeballing, <laughs> eyeballing the uh, the cloches. <laughs> and I'm just... in danger. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's because she's local. <laughs> the uh, the announcer, if you will, is a glamida, which if you don't know what that is, I mean we probably don't. Uh, they're they're also colloquially known as llama folk. It's uh, a Sven. It's, it's like it's like Sven. Yeah, uh, he's about eight feet. Oh, it's not Sven. But it's like Sven. Eh, it could be Sven. No one knows. What the hell? It's Sven. <laughs> 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 um, I was bored. Everyone chats about that, too. Because, uh, you know... Everyone like, knows who he is. He's not seen super frequently. Uh, he he kind of walks up. And his voice carries, like... The arena is built such that it has very good acoustics, um, and he has means as a god to uh, expand his voice as loud as he wants to. Um, but it doesn't seem like he's he's just talking. But everyone, it sounds like he's right next to you. Because uh, you know, power, god stuff, uh, yeah, <laughs> god reasons. Stuff. Hello, my name is Fen. Uh, this is. The showcase, the arcane chefs. It is uh, going to be a challenging one. Is it just a meet? No one. Uh, I don't know many of you have cooked with. Uh, you may use any implements you have at your stations. And uh, he sort of lifts his arms, and all the cultures raise up at once. And it's like a huge slab of meat. That's a lot of meat. This is where is the meat? Bee? Oh, damn! Is that how? Yes, uh, retrieved from a that's been aged nicely. Uh, it is from a uh, from a red dragon. And <coughs> if you have one hour to prepare it as you wish, after which the judges will do their thing. Please approach, and like everybody sits in sort of the open, everyone approaches. You, I would imagine, also do so. Uh, are you in your full, like, chef. your full chef, chef yeah. miss? Uh, <coughs> everyone chef else down. there is too. Chef down. Reco uh, please recover your phrase. What's your strength? Uh, oh, eighteen. Okay, great. That's I'm good. Totally I'm good. <laughs> it's like. It's pretty heavy. It, it, it ain't light. It's a big um, hungry. You are familiar with dragon meat, uh, sort of, in that you know that dragon meat, because dragons are so infused with technos, dragon meat does not spoil. So this could be a hundred year old dragon meat. It's or close. a couple day old. Yeah, what is that? It's the magic of the realm. Oh. Uh, a magical um. preservative, if you will. Preservative <laughs> <laughs> so juice, like dragons. In Tons of salt. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. You're new. And you're still relatively new. So, uh, magic users in my world use a magical substance known as Technos uh, to cast their spells and stuff. Dragons <coughs> are, are infused. very, very magical creatures, and as such, their meat uh, has that sort of residual property of never spoiling, uh, which proved very handy in the very early days after the wars, because <coughs> they just had meat for years and years and years, it never spoiled, they could feed off of it for a long time. Um, so, so suffice it to say, mm -hmm. Merrick's had some good dragon meat back in the day. Oh yes, he yeah. has. He looks uh, pleased. It's very right. does. Gordon is, is again. He's just he's just pissed. He's just like, <laughs> he's just like Tommy. Oh, it's gonna be extra time. Now. <laughs> not in here. I'm not, I'm not rolling. And and uh, oh. <laughs> 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 
right here. <laughs> I mean, like once, once, once everyone brings their trays over to their stations. Um, There's a little halfling just like. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some other people kind of help, help, help the halfling. Because um, it's bigger than him. Yeah, it's enormous. Nice um, just then, kind of waves his hand up and. They Magical timer appears. You have there. 60 minutes. You have, yes, you have 60 minutes. Go. Okay. Wow. Now, uh, this is going to be uh, a skill challenge, if you will. Um, what do you do first? Like, what are your plans for this? I look like a, a dragon tartar. The fuse was half out of truffle oil instead of a, little, a, bag of, a bit of arugula. <laughs> Oh. Man, I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. Give me some of that dragon. Okay. Oh, Lord. Um, let's start. Uh, okay, so let's start getting some cooking checks here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, 21? Oh. 21. <clears throat> Sounds <Okay>. delicious. Very <laughs> tender. <laughs> the, tender. The very tender. Okay, hang on. I really just want you to mess up so this. <laughs> Gordon, I want to hear Gordon. Yeah, this, I want to hear Gordon bitch you. you. <laughs> okay, twenty-one. So you uh, begin uh, tartar. How is the meat prepared for tartar? It's like chopped it's, up. It's raw. Raw. <laughs> oh, it's chopped up and raw. You don't cook yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. it's, yeah. Oh. That's what tartar is. Cool. Why is that new? Okay. All right. So you begin. I watch a lot uh, of Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> dicing up the meat. You have your your own implements except for the the, the frying pan, yeah. which is being enchanted right now. Yeah. Uh, so obviously all of your cooking gear is in top shape. Uh, the blade cuts very smoothly. Um, you dice it all up. Very good. So far, so good. It's a lot of meat. It takes you maybe ten minutes or so to just get that. Prepared. Uh, now, do you use like just a, a, a portion, just a little bit of meat? Yeah, I'm like, oh, okay. so it's a lot of meat. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. All right. So um, next, I suppose, would be preparing the spices for the meat. Itself. Oh, you got this handy spice pouch. Uh, handy spice you, pouch. With the handy spice pouch, um, I will say that you'll have advantage on this next roll uh, because you can basically pull out any spice you need. Yeah. From the pouch. Now there are a lot of spices there. You can use what they have, uh, but you can basically pull anything you need from the from the pouch. Cool. Um, how many different spices do you use? Uh, I mean, like, are are you going to basically like deplete all the charges? No, I'll do like half the charges. Probably. Okay. All right. So five like charges. Give me advantage. Ooh, natural twenty. Natural twenty. Yeah. Twenty-eight. No big deal. That will count as two successes. Very good. That's gonna be the best food. Yeah. I'm like so excited. Like, he legit rolls amazing on his cooking checks. <laughs> and then shit in between fights. You're a chef. You're only good on cooking. You're doing good. Yeah. Good at your job. You, it's it's not over seasoned in one area or, or the other. Beautifully this even, perfect even layer. Even season. Uh, it smells amazing. Uh, you do see that some of the others are not faring as well. Um, the halfling seems to have uh, burnt a big chunk of his, his dragon meat. Uh, and the day of full uh, is just struggling. He's never messed with this before. Um, Humans are doing okay. We'll see how it pans out. (coughs) Pans. Ah. Uh, You're terrible. A (laughs) wide variety of greens at the uh, the, the cooking station. I wanted to use arugula Arugula. 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 uh, for the base. So prepare that now. Uh, You don't really have advantage on this one. 
but let's see what happens. It'll be a uh, 24. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is going to be yeah. delicious. What is up? Bob, what is your bonus for this? 8 plus 8. 16. <laughs> Yeah. You haven't Lord. rolled less than like sixteen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is amazing. Uh, again, you. Is it a food and die? Yeah. If used for anything else, they were ones. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you spread it elegantly on the plate. You're Just like on three sprinkling <laughs> it all over. Not at all. It's like salt it Yeah. On three He does the mean bird. It's, it's, yeah. The presentation is, is beautiful um, uh, for, for the regula itself. Next, I would imagine, is the placement of the meat on top. Uh, and is there, there, there's a sauce, right? Like truffle White oil. White truffle? Yeah, truffle oil. Truffle oil. Um, truffle, truffle. That is something you'll have to prepare. Um, there are truffles there. You're getting close <laughs> to the end of your time frame. So, it, just enough to uh, give, me, give me another roll for the, uh, the truffle for sauce. The, for the truffle sauce. Yeah, no, oh. 16, it's 24. <laughs> 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 I'm so excited about this food. <laughs> and again, I think you, he you wins. Just nail it. Yeah. You, just place, <laughs> you have a place, little extra left over so that you place the dragon tartar over the irregular. Again, presentation elegant. And then uh, in record time, you uh, press the truffles or however that works <laughs> 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 yes. to, to get the truffle oil. Oil of fiber. Uh, and you. <laughs> Grizzle that over the top of, of all three plates. And again, there's like 10 minutes left at this point. Um, you can see that, man, Halfling's just having the heart. Halfling set its hair on fire. Uh, it's <laughs> just not, it's not good uh, for, for this she's arcane just, She's just crying. She's just like, <laughs> She's just trying to throw something together. Uh, it's not good. Um, the Ramian Arcane Chef is uh, jealously looking over at your, your amazingly prepared dish. Yeah. And, and is, is just being frustrated. Um, you have another 10 minutes. Uh, you actually have finished a little early, uh, which doesn't happen frequently on these sorts of showcases. Yeah. Um, is there any additional thing you wanted to do garnish-wise? Uh, Make sure the garnish is edible because uh, they get yeah. itchy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. What, what, what else to do? Go around critiquing the other guys. Mm -hmm. An yeah. artist knows when to quit. Yeah, I think, uh, Just make okay. sure you wipe down your plates to make sure there's well, nothing. Yeah, they're perfect. They're wiping it down. They're wiped. Tidy it up. It is wet. Make it make a big show of like of uh, yeah, yeah. like cleaning all your dishes and yeah, yeah. 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 It's like you give them that side sideways go, glance of like, what are you still doing? Yeah. Uh, oh, you boy. have you have done this so smoothly that there is very little cleaning to do. So your you have your station station clean. And there's still like two or three minutes left. And you're just like standing there calmly. Very, yeah. very happy. Oh my gosh. He has uh, a beak so he can't smile all really. And but. It's, <laughs> it's kind of causing a little bit of like ragey panic. I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, 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 the others. Um, and, you know, time runs out. And they start. Start on one side, not your side. You're just going to be towards the end. Um, some of them did decent, right? Gordon hates everything. <laughs> this is shit, brother. You suck. <laughs> shit. You're a piece of shit. That kind of stuff. He holds um, up two pieces of bread. Who are you? <laughs> An idiot sandwich. <laughs> 
loves Thera. everything. Thera. 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 Thera loves everything. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, this is all god. Yeah, like, even the halflings burnt whatever. She's gnawing on it. She's, she's <laughs> like, good Christian. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ten. Yeah, like Christmas just, vacation. Just, <laughs> just gives... It's like the guest host on like Dancing with the Stars. They always give like nines and tens. Yeah. It's that kind of thing. <laughs> like she's just happy to be there and eating food. <laughs> and, uh, loves it. Was she, Paula, she, Paula she Abdul from the original? <laughs> oh God. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's like Gordon's. I just see so many colors when you move around the, the like two, two to four mark. Uh, and <laughs> merits are more varied. Um, he actually ranges from low to high. Yeah, obviously some did better than others. And then we get to yours. And uh, the plates are presented. Um, Sarah unceremoniously just starts digging in. Oh. And by the way, uh, the other two like, like gaze at it for a second. The other two, <laughs> like, stare. like, okay, so Gordon and, and, and Eric have just eaten a little bit of each plate to give their judgment. Yeah. Sarah's eaten everything. <laughs> <laughs> like, everything. Every plate. All around. Like, no. You don't understand how it's possible. <laughs> but she can see that. Her stomach is a bag of holding. <laughs> like, she can eat that much food. Like, no decorum is like licking the actual plate. Which is yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, literally. It's crazy. And she just starts digging in. And her eyes go, wow, he's amazing. <laughs> I love this thing. <laughs> is it and, amazing? Uh, it is. She gives you a 10, which is of not course. surprising. I feel like it was 9s or 10s, uh, basically. <laughs> because, you know, uh, she gives everybody 9s and 10s, so no worries there. She's not the swing boat. <laughs> <laughs> Merrick has... Actually, let me be more specific. Gordon has only taken one bite of anyone else's food. You're like the last one, I'm saying. Merrick's had a couple. And, um, what do you like to eat? took a few more bites. Merrick uh, has some. His, his eyes also open a little bit. Like, this is amazing. Uh, uh, I have a very impressed party. presentation. This He, and he has given out a handful of, like, eights and nines. Um, do some of them do relatively well, and you get a ten. Oh. <laughs> and and then, crowd, crowd is like, yeah! yeah. <laughs> and then, it's Gordon. Uh, who... Probably, has good probably looks angrier because he doesn't... <laughs> Know what to call He still to looks terse and, and just used to man of the world as one does. Uh, as one Gordon do. And he uh, tentatively you know, gets a bite. And he does something that you haven't seen yet, and he takes two bites. Mm-hmm. He takes two bites. Spits it out. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> highest <laughs> praise that you'll <laughs> he gives It's you acceptable. A seven. Oh, oh. highest score he's given uh, all day? I feel like we're making the crowd sound scary. Yeah, right. <laughs> like the highest score By I think more anybody's double. ever seen him give at one of these. It's like he's at best ever given a six. Or yeah. something yeah. like that. Like and that was five. rare. He gives you a yeah. seven. Like everyone else is averaging like, like two point seven. Wow! Like freaking out. Um, everyone already knows who won. <laughs> yes. Wait. Good presentation. Uh, didn't expect it to be far far, but uh, it's not bad. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> and you Good you answers. win. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's my friend. Yeah, actually, you wouldn't be saying that. You would be yelling at me. Like, that's my friend. I know him. I know that person. Uh, 
for this. What influence do you have? Uh, I'm gonna try to speak with Spoon. 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 He's getting the magic uh, spatula. Yeah. 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 You are presented with a uh, cleaver that has been enchanted by Merrick. Ooh! You guys keep saying Merrick and I'm not Merrick. America. Heck for the shot. Okay. It's, it's a cleaver. It's a four foot cleaver. <laughs> what is that? Uh, D8? Is that what the cleaver is? D6. D6. Okay. Well, this one's a D8 then. <laughs> uh, this one, it's plus one. And. Does Cooking bonus. <laughs> fire damage or something? You can, over a, now I'll, I'll, I'll write this up for you. Over a short rest, you can change what the additional damage is Ooh. between fire, ice, or lightning. Nice. But it's 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 an extra one d six of the damage type that you have set it to. So. You have the original legendary birds and a cleaver. Nice. Hmm? I said he has the original legendary birds and a cleaver. <laughs> yeah, fire, ice, and lightning. Damn. Awesome. It's a sweet cleave. It's so sweet. Does it have a name? It does require attunement, just because of its ridiculousnessnessness. Uh, and he says, I, I made this for this showcase. Um, I have not named it yet. You have that on. I'll speak about that. Yes. Noise. Um, you say <laughs> if you stay in the arena, they kind of change out the uh, the setting, and you uh, they start to go through some of the arcane schools. Uh, you see mages that can create incredibly realistic illusions of dragons and holders and all kinds of other interesting creatures. Um, you see. Mages just destroy the shit out of stuff. Uh, they are like uh, any necromancy wizards. So like these dummies. Um, there is a necromancy showcase. Ooh. It is unsettling. It's a dance competition. It's a <laughs> There's actually a spell called Dance Macabre now. The necro dancers. <laughs> uh, <coughs> it's a pop lock. Uh, pop and lockathon. They, they do the wave and the last one's arm flies off. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are a fun. lot of them here for that showcase. Um, and a lot of it is uh, things like uh, they'll like summon creatures and like cast blight and that sort of thing on them. Um, There isn't really a way to realistically do like undead raising in a way that isn't fucked up. Fucked up for rape <laughs> robbery. Uh, to put it so lightly. that's but, not. But the necromancer family yeah. man just wants to raise a family. Yeah. Yeah. That's He's not. Skilled with the dead. That, that's not, not just really. Just a really late healer. Yeah. 
<laughs> start with something that they can do um, regularly. Occasionally, people, when they die, um, actually give their bodies to uh, magic science, science so to speak. Uh, and some of them are. Uh, Damn. Some of them are utilized. So there are a couple of instances where they showcase uh, the raising of undead. Um, it's not, it's, it's interesting to watch, but it's not something that is uh, generally regarded as like good or exciting. So some people are just like murmuring and some gasps and whoa. Kind of well. Charlie looks on disapprovingly. At the end of the day, uh, after you see a number of different sources of transportation stuff, they change things and other things. Uh, and at the very end, Merrick comes out to an empty arena. <coughs> and uh, you know, he says, <coughs> Mages. And everyone else, I suppose. <laughs> Not everyone here is a mage. Um, but Technos is a very powerful and dangerous thing. Uh, he kind of gives a little bit of a PSA. Like, if you find pools of refined Technos in the wild, Try not to get in it. Yeah, I'm going to uh, grab my wife's hand because that's how my dad died. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Don't drink it. Don't do any of that unless it's already been attuned in some way uh, to be viably consumed. Uh, otherwise, random and potentially very bad. He's kind of done this this thing before, and he works the crowd up a little bit. Uh, you, know, you guys want to see <coughs> a show? Yeah. So I'm getting a Willy Wonka vibe right now, and it's freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> he flies up in the air. Ooh. Uh, which is not necessarily something that's like you know, crazy weird. weird that happens. People can do that. <laughs> <coughs> he flies in the air, and he kind of skirts the outside of the, uh, sort of the end of the arena. And he goes into this arcane casting, and clouds begin to swirl in the sky, and these gigantic rocks uh, that almost seem to be molten lava come down from the sky and strike the arena uh, and leave immense craters, craters right in the middle just like devastating damage uh, it is indeed meteors form Ack. yeah and the uh and it's the, one of the highest level spells in the game. So it all is. the wizards know. Did anyone get hurt? No. <laughs> no, uh, the arena uh, has a magical barrier. Oh, okay. And, and, and you can aim where they go. And okay, the, cool. Yeah. It's kind of like how in a, a uh, Elvis Girls of Blood in, how you can't like shoot an arrow into the crowd and kill anybody there. Oh. It, it's 40, 40 of these of damage. That's 40 D6. 40? Yes. Yeah. 40 total. Uh, yeah. It's a ninth level spell. It's Is there even 40? And to show off his, his power, he does I have it for 40 a solid minute. <laughs> he just, I mean, yeah. yeah it's um, just like, people here have problems. They all have too many dies. Just these <laughs> immense stones. It's like, uh, just raining. Crazy. It's like when Thanos throws the moon at Tony. <laughs> going Are people calm? The, the crowd? Going uh, crazy. Everybody is like amazed. Yeah, because it's not something that you see every day because there aren't a lot of casters that can do that 
And no one's afraid? Mm-mm. Cautious at all? Nope. And then he says, Okay. Now, uh, I'll fix this real quick. Uh, and he says, I wish that there was no more damage to the arena. Oh, what? And the arena craters. Go back up. Yeah. That's sure fine. Hey, hey, can, can, he needs to roll because there's a percent that he can never do that again. No. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to point that out. It's like, I know. I try to rule his lawyer. It, 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 Merrick. It seems to, like, magically refill, uh, and it looks like nothing ever happened. Uh, and a lot of the mages there are <gasps> amazed. Not because of what he did. No, well, he just said. cast two ninth level <laughs> he, spells. But because he cast two ninth level <laughs> spells. What he undid. Yeah. Well, uh, Sarah, whenever whenever you get to twenty levels of wizard, you get one ninth level spell. That's it. And that's what you he get just for being <laughs> the twentieth level. Yeah. He didn't use a legendary. How do you do that twice? <laughs> he's we'll that. that he's make. that effing good. Okay. Uh, he's that's super the point. old. That's the point. He has been a wizard for millennia. Just before it was cool. Who is this guy again? America. The Archmage of the Universe. America. Yeah, the Archmage <laughs> yeah. of the Universe. I remember him. America. Oh. Magi. <clears throat> and everyone's amazed. And he says, uh, if you study hard and survive. <laughs> he talks like Obama. Uh, Throughout your many adventures, perhaps you can one day do this as well. Uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, I must go. I have <laughs> much to attend to, and everyone you know, kind of cheers, cheers out and stuff. And says, Why do we love you, Merrick? America! 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 <laughs> always uh, a great time during the trials. And uh, we'll be back next year, I'm sure. Or sometime within the next couple of years. Because there's a lot of towns that do this. And he can't, there's only 10 days of it, so he can't dip everywhere every time. And he teleports away. I mean, away. he can, but he just doesn't. Yeah, well, that's fair. Oh. He teleports away. It's a lot of work. <laughs> kind of fun. <laughs> um, the several days pass. Um, basically, sort of fast forwarding to the end of the trials. Um, you can go and watch more. They actually get more and more intense because the further along it is, in the trials, the more powerful the mage tests are, so it becomes more and more grandiose. Uh, the arcane chef thinks it's kind of a one, one and done kind of thing. There's not like there's not a ton of arcane. There's chefs. not a ton of arcane chefs really around. Um, on the tenth day, there is I don't know if I have a name for it, but not. basically <coughs> every mage. During the like at the end of the trials, every mage gives about ten percent of the technos that's in their uh, magical, their like personal reservoirs to like they, they return it to the veil. Um, and it's a big ceremony. It's kind of fireworks ish because technos glows and they kind of send it up and it, it there's like flashes. And and it explodes it, it, to it dissipate. Dissipates, uh, and it is returned to the veil, which strength which strengthens that barrier. <coughs> um, on the tenth day, you each recover your items, your magical items. Uh, Quetzal has the frying pan that does fire damage. Self eating frying. The self eating frying pan. Finn has a plus one great plus sword, one great sword. and uh, Clank has the <coughs> yeah, sorry uh, 
the plank has the hand axe of frost. Of frost. That does frosty damages. I do cry. I miss you. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. Now, on the tenth night, unless there's something, just, uh, nope. anything particular. Got my sword. I'm waiting for them to like get up, get ready to leave town. Yes, on the tenth night, the you all notice that the Green Bazaar is beginning to pack up. Uh, some tents are going down. Uh, they're loading up all their wagons. <coughs> oh, the first night. Tenth night. Did we come on the first night? No. This whole time? Yeah, you showed up on like the fifth or oh, sixth. Yeah. Sixth. Yeah. So how many days have I been with you guys? Four. At this point, right. it would be we're closer. Four days. <laughs> yeah. like, you you would have had time to um, hang out with each other. Uh, so now we're to see my friends or something. You guys don't think I'm such an asshole anymore. <laughs> Let's make that clear. So far. <laughs> so, yes, so far. So I have far. not forgotten the middle finger. Sorry. <laughs> it's just the way I see it. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> scared me there for a minute. <laughs> I think I went to look back at this. I do need to do one, one quick thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, Kane. Mm-hmm. Can you get someone here to induct her into Shinomas? If she's going to be traveling with us, I mean... Into what? The Cleveland Steamrollers. Oh. <laughs> yes, you don't know what that is. Okay. I don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mal, Mal might not actually know what that is, really. Um, so, within the guild, there are a number of sub guilds. There is an official thieves White guild. Smiths, blacksmiths, there's there are official thieves guilds, uh, which you're not a part of yet. Um, there is a guild known as the Adventurers Guild, which is where most people who wish to adventure uh, generally begin, uh, just because it's good access to all the all the toys. All the toys. Okay. And the money. Uh, within the Adventurers Guild, there is a subgroup known as the Fate Breakers. What are we called again? What's your name? Steen Ronas. Uh, you, <laughs> you, you are uh, <laughs> members of the Free Regiment of the Fate Breakers, which is uh, known as the Steen Ronas as far as its official title. The Free Regiment operates outside of guild wall kind of kind of like the like, French they're region. still keeping an eye on you but not as cool as yeah. um, you have more freedom to be murder of us do <laughs> no <laughs> you, have, you have more freedom to take action um, above Kind of like the Spectres uh, in Mass Effect. Yes. Just like the Spectres. Yes. Like that's, a good, that's a good way uh, of putting it. I need uh, a different genre. Uh, well, it's... A I different mean, game. I, don't, I didn't play Mass Effect. Uh, the, um, okay, I'll put it to you this way. The only group that has more authority, uh, authority to do... Bad things what, for a good reason? Right. To do what they need to do, put it that way, uh, is the group known as Penumbra, which is the Assassin. sanctioned assassin guild. Okay. That's um, him. Hi. <laughs> they are very much like the Dark Brotherhood. Okay. Except they don't... They, are they don't tell you that they know, they just kill you. Yeah. They, <laughs> well, no, they do tell you that, but they don't yeah, one kill one. for purposes of coin alone. Uh, and they don't kill innocent people. They kill for the purposes brotherhood. of points of right. They're also it. sanctioned. Yeah. They're sanctioned, yeah. Okay. Um, they are essentially the police force, but 
way cooler. They're 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 the secret police. Yeah, the cloak and dagger police. I like those right word to use. <laughs> so, um, this fetch does. Around day eight, maybe day nine, a representative of the Adventurers Guild does actually approach you all, uh, specifically for the purpose of talking. Andrea, why not? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Andrea, who you never met, they all have in unfortunate circumstances. <laughs> yes, I love this lady. Uh, Except approaches. Now. Did you name her? Uh, She's the one who kidnapped us in the forest. Oh, okay. You met her when you met me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We She's kind of like my boss. <laughs> Got it. I remember. Not officially associated with the guild, which truly in these times is pretty rare. Most people associate with some aspect of the guild, even if it's the farmers' guild. Um, you don't have the to be lonely. Farmer. <laughs> <laughs> You're a cook. Only you be, you be a level zero peasant with like two hit points. I don't, I I don't think you farmer. want that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry. And we understand that you have assisted this particular group of the Free Regiment uh, in their <laughs> perhaps unexpectedly assisted them uh, in their duties. She said duty. <laughs> Toi! Yes. Uh, <coughs> it is dangerous work. Very dangerous work. Uh, it pays well. We could use your skills. Understanding the arts that you practice, um, there is also theoretically speaking a place for you within the sanctioned thieves guild. Uh, is any of that of interest to you? Yes. Go on. I'll answer that question for money. Okay. <laughs> oh, that, that's a way better response. <laughs> <laughs> Good record order. <laughs> <laughs> so, induction into the three regiments episode. is very straightforward. You simply choose the location. Count breaks out of jail, right? Three regiments mm-hmm. breaks out of jail. Yeah. Uh, on your person. Oh, I have and one I, of those. I, I, I tap like, mine right, right here. Just, the Rick Shank and just tattoo appears. Mm-hmm. Oh, Shiny. Yeah, 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 I point my forehead and there's a it's, Chloe it's, tattoo. It's the same thing <laughs> right here. You get it here too. It is invisible until you basically will it to glow. Most of the rooms have it on the palm. Yeah, so, okay. um, yeah, where would you like it? Oh, the one on the palm. Oh. Does it give me any power where it lives? Oh, it's it only shows, it doesn't it's give you just any. A it's a symbol. symbol it's it's like a cop's you, badge. But it only shows much. up when you want it to. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's essentially a way of showcasing that you are the free regiment. It gets you into certain places that you wouldn't normally be able to get into. Like some guards show up like, what the hell are you doing here? Like, uh, and they're else? like, oh. Mine's on my neck. The back or side? Right here. Okay. Where's That's because it's the only place it's not on already covered head. by tattoos. I don't remember where mine is. Oh, I think you got yours on your, on your shoulder. Pockets? No, I think <laughs> mine was on my palm, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, I think I'm on yeah, my yeah, wrist. Yeah. Like where my tattoos. Okay. Sense. All right. Easy, easy to show, and easy to cover if needed. Well, it's always gone once you will it to show. Yeah. Now, it's like it's on my forehead, but you don't see it. You do notice (laughs) that whenever Kane shows his, he wears gloves, and it still shows up. So, clothing is irrelevant in terms of it showing up. 
It'll it'll show over close. It's kind of like like that future tech where it, just, it kind of pops out. Yeah. Okay. Like a hologram. From yeah, Witcher. Hologram. That's what I'm thinking of. Like okay, the I science guess of Witcher. Mm, yeah. Okay. Very good. Um, <laughs> now. Azora. <laughs> Azora steps up to her, waiting patiently. Uh, one moment. One moment, buddy. Now, Steve Skills. Wrong guild. No. You owe money to a thieves guild that is not associated with the guild. Okay. An, uh, an unsanctioned thieves guild. <laughs> um, they don't. So are they like looked down upon for that? Oh, they're. Oh yeah, they're they're it's illegal. Not good. Like dirty, it's not It's it's very dirty legal. Rats. Like it'll get you killed. Um, kinda. Okay. Look. So <laughs> there are a handful of rules for the thieves guild. Seems a little strange, perhaps, for thieves, but alas, they work. It's a code. First is that you do not steal from the guild. It's very dangerous. And I'm going to kill you for that. Uh, <laughs> hey, you <he> would get. <laughs> I'll kill you. I got you. Uh, second, of course, <coughs> is uh, there are things that occasionally we need acquired. Um, similar to the free resident, <coughs> if you are caught, that's on you. We don't. We disavow all knowledge of your actions, so to speak. Um, although, we'll It's not like they forget about you, but if you're super <laughs> cheap, they're not going to work. We, we can't, uh, well, we can, I guess, but we, we, we don't generally step in unless it becomes that necessary to do so. And there are some other things you'll learn along the way as well. But if you wish, Do that. Give me the tattoo. It's you know, kind of official now. And she kind of turns her attention <laughs> to Zora. And Crow Crowley walks over. <coughs> uh, she will be taking my place. Oh. Uh, okay. uh, oh. What? Yes. I'm lost yeah. again. <laughs> Quite Actually. lost indeed. Okay. You're saying. Yes. Okay. I have a daughter. I have a wife. I have a family to take care a of. Wife? A wife. So you wish to no longer be within the free budget? I mean, I can be on the deal reserve. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you need something done, I, I, and I'm in the area, I can help. But I suppose. The active duty of reserve. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, Isora, where would you like your person? Uh, the same place my brother had his is fine. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Easier to remember. <laughs> yes. Got it. The voice is so... <laughs> Char <laughs> charming. <laughs> <laughs> Needs work. Okay. Very good. You got it. And she kind of moves up, and uh, she has it. It's really strange. It's it's a stamp um, that has like a glass tube that glows with technos. Mm -hmm. And she like like she did for you. And kind of presses it there. It glows a little bit and then fades to no not being there. So what I'm in free regiment. Thank you. So who is this now? My twin sister. Oh, okay. So okay. The one I went on the date with. Right, so okay. Oh, looks like that's not working. Taking out. over a proud well, uh, position as leader. More time spending on Yes, so uh, he's going to sign everything over to me. Okay. I think his, uh, her mind might have changed. <laughs> 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 
So uh, oh, Car Carla looks though. at all of you and says, "We'll discuss this in a moment when when we're alone." Apologies. Nods, Kane. And they, and she kind of vanishes into shadow. Goes away. <laughs> she walks away. Walks into a shadow. And, and I walk away. On the tenth night. Yeah. Real quick. We kind of have to leave a little bit early. But are we playing next Friday? Or is it No, our, next Friday's our break. And they were doing Friday, 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 Friday after Friday. that. Friday, yeah. Okay. And. Everything okay then? Huh, yeah, uh, I have to work in the morning. Actually, they do this thing at work now where you can change your time. Now, yeah, so I did that, and I have to go in two hours early. So, <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go home and eat and shower before. Uh, All right. I can't do well, uh, we will. But the issue is that next. You like hanging out home? Yeah. The uh, following Friday, I'm gonna be on vacation. So. Which is not here. Which is not here. Okay. And well, yeah, I may not be. Could be the twentieth, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's so when the next session. I'll come back. If I come back on Friday, I will play. But it, I'm pretty sure I won't be back until okay. Sunday. Well, then we will uh, play it later. But are we playing the twenty seventh? Yes, for sure. Okay. We are back on schedule. Good. Yes. All right. Well, you guys live long and prosper. If you kill me, uh, keep my clothes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, dog, dog will he may get a pet squirrel. You never know. <laughs> yeah, just, I want to be like yeah. a stuffed animal if I die. So. <laughs> okay, <cool>. Be <laughs> safe. Right. Yeah, later, guys. Have a good night, man. Don't get shot. No, I'll try not to. It's a rough world. Mad world. On the uh, team, on the 10th, Quetzal, you have uh, fitful. Fucking ain't spring. Uh, I was just thinking that. <laughs> and you just, just watch it like, tear apart. It's just like home to you. No, how about Jeff? Uh, it's. You feel a strange. Birds sweat. Birds sweat. Bird birds usually you, don't sweat. You woke okay, well, up. Are there feathers all around? Sweat. You wake up. They pant. Uh, with your feathers all like poofed out. Uh, <laughs> you look like you stuck like, your, your finger racing. in an electric socket. Your plumage is. Yeah, your plumage is, is just like <laughs> furled. Uh, and, and your heart's racing. And, uh, <laughs> This one seems a lot more real, visceral. Um, you're standing in front of the avian skull figure. And it says, four days down, 36 to go. Hmm. Fuck it around. Yep. And then the trials of the Magi are over. Ta -da. A lot of the wizards are powerful enough that they can teleport out, and so they do. So, like, the talent that gets significantly taller rapidly. Yeah, so very rapidly. <laughs> very rapidly. Like, like, it ends. Oh, it was. It was super crowded. And then all of a sudden, 
it's like that's like sparse. It's sparse within an hour. Yeah. It's a yeah. desert like, community. Like, Come on now, it's, it, there's not a lot of people here. It becomes almost like a ghost town, you know, just like within one hour. Or it seems that way. There's still yeah. a lot of people that live in the city. It's just way less. Um, the dream is our packing up its things. That'd be helpful. Uh, they are going to hit the road <coughs> before too long. They will not come back. And um, Crowley will be going with them. So, Aloysius Crowley. Aloysius Crowley. So, I'm going to gather all my friends here. So, but it's been fun, but I cannot continue. Mm-hmm. I will be staying with my family. He did almost die. Weak. A couple of times. I, I, I got targeted pretty hard. I had to t- dis- dismantle bombs, and it made me think, you know, I need to spend some time with my daughter. My father didn't have the opportunity to spend the time with me, and I don't want to do the same to her. Oh. So, my, yeah. sis- my sister, Isora, she's going to join you okay. in my place. How do you spell that? <laughs> I-Z- like I-Z-O-R-A. Okay. Um, Izora. I Izora Kali. I-Z. I-Z-O-R-A. Okay. Um, she goes by Izzy most of the time, but probably yeah, works too. Izzy. And okay. she she looks at, at Crowley and says, Don't tell them that I hate it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just always call her Izzy. She smacks him. Oh yeah. I will end up likely sticking like with Crowley because it's easier. Because it's easier. Because uh, no. Well, I might yeah. ask like immediately, like, can I call you Crowley? Is that just fine? Um, so I remember that. Just name. for <clears throat> reasons, uh, what class is she? She is a divine soul sorcerer. Sorcerer. Sweet. Meaning that she can cast, she can you know, burn she shit, can... and she can heal. Oh, about she can heal. Crowley was our leader. And, and now oh. I am. He signed over all responsibilities to me. Okay. She has, a, she has an absurd charisma. He has just the same charisma as Crowley. Yeah. Except her bonuses are a little higher because of a stone of good luck. I love that your strength is six. I know. It's going to be is great. hysterical. It's so good. Weak sauce. I'll be your muscle. I don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> there's a... Uh, My con's low, too. There's at least... Uh, I think... Wait... Yours is 18. Mine's 20. Yours is 20. Yours is, I think, also 20. Your strength? 18. It's 18. Plus 4. Yeah, yeah it is 18. Mine's a 10. Yours is uh, 16. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's up there. It's, uh, 18. 18. Oh, gosh. There's a lot of 18 strength floating around. You'll be so. fine. I'm good. There's like yeah, muscular districts over here. Yeah, yeah but I, I can talk to people. Yeah, <laughs> I can. <laughs> Indeed. I'm the th- I, I, I I like playing the charismatic character for once. Now that the trials are done. Oh, and by the way, you all see Crowley hand her a bag of things. Is that a bag of many things? No. <laughs> it's just a How bag. How big is this bag? It, it, it's a sizable sack. There's some clinking of coins. Basically, Crowley's pack that gets transferred over to her. Basically, yes. Oh, okay. With a with the of a handful of items. Yeah. He keeps the cloak of billowing and any warlock centric crap. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Okay. The trials are done. You are in the city. Uh, well, I guess technically right now you're in the outskirts of the city. I want to ask him real quick something though okay. before we leave town. So is Penumbra going to investigate Sodas' house? Because we didn't do that. My brother told me we should. Oh. You do have, you, that's something that you can do, theoretically, can we do? Mm. Can we do that as like a retroactive? Yes. Because that's probably something we would have yes. taken care of while we will say we're... that that would have been done probably like the next day. Okay. Plot points. Probably plot like point. day. Plot points. Seven. Ooh, plot points for loots. Loots. So, loot, loots and any information we can gather. Yes, yes, yes. Um, do I need to roll investigation? Uh, no. 
I will have to move on to my plot point for that. So can we call tw- call twenty? So many plot points are being spent on, on this. On this, <laughs> yeah. we didn't use any. Is everybody spending their plot point? Yes. yes. Yeah. Might as well. I mean, this is that, an RP session. Yes. That's a mini. Yeah, we don't do. So that's that's and I, I I would say that Tommy probably would too. Oh yeah. They don't roll over. Well, you get, you a, get a new one, one every season. session, but if you don't use yeah, it, it goes away. You can't step. Roll over minutes, guys. <laughs> it's so true. If you don't use it, you lose it. <laughs> Business, baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, because we're using a mark roll number, basically all eight. eight. All eight plot points. Uh, I won't make anybody roll. Cool. For this stuff. Uh, now it's going to take you a lot of the day to scour through Sotus's house. So it could also just for no other us. reason <laughs> than the fact that he was a fire giant and everything's about 12 feet tall. Uh, so just getting up. So there's going to be a lot of trying climbing. to pull open drawers and all that kind of stuff. It's big. It, it's it's like. Um, well, the Crowley twins can both go Legion form and just get big. I'm also, I can also fly. And, and oh. Clank can get big. Well, also, Harry's nine feet tall. That's true. And can reach the upper drawers. Uh, I'll, I'll probably have, I'll probably actually ask for uh, some of the strong people to occasionally do like a cannonball special kind yeah. of deal. Yeah, well also, Mal's right yeah. character yeah. can climb unhindered. Yeah, we're climbing. Yeah. Mal can definitely Well, her, as a thief, you could the climb unhindered. So yeah. Yeah, pretty weird. Yeah. Climb to the oh, 30. second story work. Yeah. Yeah, second story work. Yeah. Well, so the top of the here. desk <laughs> is definitely <laughs> about so, yeah. the height of the second story, so that certainly works. Um, Deep routes. Super useful. You find... What? Don't need that anymore. Oh, right. Cloak of Billowy? No, the uh, Dark Shard Amulet. Don't need that. Well, technically, you need Cloak of Billowy. Yeah, don't need that either. Teamwork. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will this one later. There aren't a lot of notes about the madness stuff. Um, you do find. It's looking for like a hidden communicator or another puzzle box. Uh, you do find a couple of documents that show. Design of the bonds, uh, like how to build them, wire them, all of that fun stuff. Uh, I'll confiscate that stuff and take it back to the. I was going to take it and give it to Quank. Maybe build some. Well, he might be able to just like read it and be like, oh, okay, I'm going to do that now. Yeah, <laughs> I would say. Assimilating new information. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh, sorry, I'm working on a couple of things. Okay. Um, there is a note that is basically telling Sodas to create new bonds. Uh, and it is signed with just letter, which is it's the letter N. Beyond that, there's not really much by way of additional data. It would appear... It no. was there. <laughs> so it, it would appear that um, a lot of the documentation that you might have received mm-hmm. has been destroyed. destroyed. Um, Burn. Isora is going to study the handwriting though because the charlatan feature allows her to forge anything as long as she has a sample of handwriting. Okay. And she would be able to put that signature into that book that Krishna has. Mm-hmm. Uh, and like, hey, this She's is... She's basically like, like copy it into yeah, the book. Yeah, copy it into the book. Like, this was in... Banebringer's house. In, in his house, written as so, and then copy it exactly uh, so they get, a, they get a copy of it. Gonna do that. Excellent. That is there a dryer running? It sounds like it. it sounds like it's a furnace starting up. Yeah, it's the hot water tank. Oh. 
this is just Do find. I see it was the uh, governor. Uh, he has accumulated a fair amount of wealth uh, with eight plot points. We'll say that you find enough for everyone to receive a thousand white drachma. Jesus. Put some armor on my mouth. Yes. 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 Wow. Queen. We everyone? shot up yeah. there, man. <laughs> I went from having like 50 yeah. to 1300. You eight freaking plot points, dude. Any cool items? That's what I'm looking through now. Yes! Oh, so many under here. Huh? Uh, oh. I'm rich, bitch. It's uh, page three. Nope. Oh, should be page three. Coin purse. Oh, right. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. Oh, that one. <laughs> Jack, you have any things? Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a game breaking How much thing. Right <laughs> um, I I think think a thousand. Hey, let's go 40 um, years in the future. How much you probably Again. Yeah, yeah, hey. That sounds fun. It wasn't a bad time. Oh, it just just let me, ha- just let me have a wish again. Or I promise I won't screw it up twice. So, no. in our last campaign, we were. <laughs> now we're approaching the end of the world, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden we just jumped 40 years in the future. When we were about to save the world, oh no, we just disappeared and go 40 years in the future. Oh, my bad. World, it was the apocalypse. My bad. It was after the apocalypse. I cast Wish, and I did it badly. Yeah. And then we had to... Uh... We had to kill Tiamat. <laughs> kill the God Eater. <laughs> I did call him yeah. a little bitch. San is an actual being in here. He's like a really... Powerful. Extremely He's powerful. Fairy. Yeah. Fairy. Right. And he can do whatever. He he oh, he gave us presents. A wish. I've never tried and they chose to be four levels scary. higher. Three. Three levels yeah. higher. And they were three levels higher 40 years in the future. And we yeah. had to fight Tiamat oh, so and get like set back by a guy. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Real easy to screw up. Yeah. I see. Wish if you don't use it for one of the intended purposes is you it's giving you the giving yourself. it's giving the DM the, the option to just screw you. Yeah. In a We don't yes. have any green or blue yet, right? No, we have one we have one uh green, I believe. Hmm? Each of us got one green in oh. the campaign. We did? Uh I don't think so. I have it in my notes. No, no, I don't recall uh, that. Some things happened and some mm-hmm. of us got some green. Oh yeah. right. Yeah. I think it was with gambling. It was. And one of my fights. Right. Because I have four. Crowley, Crowley has one. That's why I, I think. In, in I have 1,100 white. In yeah, so it says white. office in a chest, you find a dwarf. What? In a chest? In a dwarf. Well, see, okay. let me rephrase that. You find most of the dwarf. Hey. Oh, it's not okay. <laughs> dwarves are made of stone and have like gems for eyes and... Like there he is. Might be a statue. Can oh. you eat the dwarf? He's, he's they're like rock, like, like, huh? they're like rock he's monsters. Pretty, he's broken okay. apart. He's pretty. Yeah, he is. He is. He, he, he's broken apart. Um, there are parts of him that are missing. Um, notably, his eyes. His eyes. Uh, you can't. You, you don't find those. Um, mm. But he is. A belt. A belt. Yes. Good call. Uh, on the front of which is the uh, like a dwarven face. Mm. Uh, Sigil of Ulfgar Crossbeard. <laughs> yeah, the uh, belt of dwarven kind. Uh, you have found a belt of dwarven kind. Now, <coughs> for those of you who don't have ready access to the Dungeon Guide, I'll tell you what it does. All on here. It does require attunement. So bear that in mind. Yeah, can't have that. Uh, you're new. And also, uh, as well. uh, so every character can have up to three items of attunement. Uh, so that might be important to know. While wearing this belt and being attuned to it, you get plus two to your constitution to a maximum of 20. 
advantage on persuasion checks interacting with dwarves. Maybe. <coughs> There's a 50% chance every day that you will grow a full beard if you are capable of doing so. Uh, most races are capable of doing so. What about sexes, though? Is that well, that's fair. Uh, yeah. That would be up to you guys. <laughs> I don't want to be uh, there. <laughs> Harriet, Harriet's probably don't want this Harriet bill. Anyway, yeah. So it would make a huge yeah. difference there. Uh, you have resistance to and advantage against poison. You get dark vision out to 60 feet, which would be handy for Finn. Uh, and you can, you can uh, speak, read, and write dwarvish. It would allow me to uh, read and write dwarvish. I literally <laughs> have like half of these things anyway. Assuming, I didn't have that written on here, but like assuming you can read and write. Yeah. Usually. Uh, I have some idea. Still so, got to do the pictograms. Still got to do the pictograms. But, Dwarfish uh, no, pictograms. If, if I had that, I would have uh, 20 pawns. I don't know who you want to give that to. Uh, whoever. Well, I do want it. I, have I can't use it. Pawns, so I can use it. You have 13? Yeah. Oh. Someone okay. give that to the bird. I can't yeah. use it. Kane doesn't need it. No, like, I, like literally most yeah, of these things I already have. Except for the beard. Is yeah, I don't, I don't particularly need a big giant beard. So what, what you two could use it more. My persuasion. I mean, I have a fourteen, but I have three. Mine's three negative, negative two. Mine's <laughs> negative two as well. I have no That's great. I have a plus five. I've got a charisma thing going on. Yeah, you're I could definitely bad. use it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Give it to the bird. Yep. The bearded bird. No, no oh. avians are not capable of growing beards. Damn. So you don't have you to just worry get, about that. You thicker get feathers. You get a puffier like, waddle. Yeah, 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 like a... I'm going to get a, like a fake beard. Feather beard. Just wear, just like a Does he get like a little gobbler like a, like a turkey? Like a gross gobbler, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like peacock feathers. That's a better idea. <laughs> the gobbler's not, you know... Just a higher concentration Beards. of longer feathers. <laughs> All right. Good haul. <laughs> Vessel Tour and Kaya, 1,000 white draka. Each. Each. So, 8,000 white draka. Oh, yeah, that's a, it was like a big chest for a coin. It's a shit ton. Sweet. Sweet. Scales. Um, so, we'll kind of fast forward again back to the uh, start of the 11th day, mm-hmm. uh, at, which is basically the first day after the trial of the Magi. All of or most of the wizards have teleported away, or uh, are traveling by whatever means they generally travel. Could be flying broomstick, could be uh, just horse magic carts. Horse carts. I mean, it, or just magic or horseless carts. carts. Yeah, uh, and it just goes about its business. The city continues to run as it normally does. There's a new leader uh, who you haven't really figured out. No, no. Uh, and you're now free to travel wherever you wish. Crowley will wave at you. Yeah. Crowley. Goodbye. Crowley Goodbye. leaves with Ozella. And my and my wife yeah. that I forgot the name of. Man, what woman. a hu- what a husband. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I made this character yeah. months ago. Yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch. I have a lot of family. <laughs> I, oh. I, made, I legit rolled for this character for siblings, and I had nine. <laughs> okay. I get it. There's, there's a, yes, it it's a lot. Life lady. What's I'll the, call her. Did you think of a name for the new, the new person in charge? Hmm? The new person in charge of the town? So. I, oh, I haven't. The town king? I haven't yet. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah. God damn it, Finn. <laughs> That's not a thing. Uh, it, it is actually a... <laughs> It's a glamida. It's not Sven, obviously. Not all uh, llama folk are so Sven. That's just like racist. It. Yeah, it's a llama person. They 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 also stand about the same height as Harriet. They're, they're between eight and ten feet tall. They, just, they look like Cusco. Uh, they are oh, like nice. here. They are very muscular. They're excellent swords people. Uh, and they tend to prefer desert-ish. Byron's. And they spit on people who annoy them. Yes. I mean, that's what llamas do. <laughs> uh, 
his name is. Cusco. Oh, Cusco. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cusco. Very good. We're, we're, we're not uh, infringing on any copyrights, Disney, Cusco don't you? Love it. <laughs> Cusco the Town King. Uh, Cusco the Town King. Voiced, voiced by someone we all enjoy. Uh, now, where do you go? You're free to go. Where are you going to go? So, Co- so my brother said we needed to go to Alea Town, was it? You yes, you do. Something new. We have twenty-eight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thirty-six yeah. days left to do, motherfucker. Let's get to the Let's see, it I thought we were going to play him. I thought we were going to do going on. On your way to the car. I'm new here. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. We gotta go to the car. Shit's going down. Yeah. Do we have to go this slow way, or can we get someone to t- take us there? You wish Best. you paid for it. You want to pay the uh, teleportation fees? Mm, probably <laughs> not. <laughs> oh, Help. I did want to do one thing before we left town. I'm sorry. I want to buy a diamond worth 500 gold pieces. Easy enough to do. Okay. Oh, and also everyone needs to pick up their weapons. And so we did that. Did we say? Okay. Yes, I couldn't remember if we actually said. How much are the teleport fees to a car? Oh, okay. A car is... City, bring business away. Well, the teleport doesn't have an effect on distance. So I mean, it have an effect on. We did just say I, think, the I need to and come up with a, like a, a teleportation thing. I think it would be um, like easier to get to big cities and much more difficult to get to smaller and smaller that's places. That's true because, because there are less teleportation circles. Yeah, the big city would have like an... It's like Uber. <laughs> yeah, well, like a big city yeah. would have Peak time. this giant Grand Central Station of thousands of teleport rings. Well little place like we're in right it's now, fair. we'll have like six. You also did just save the city and... You know, we're doing pretty good. Yeah. Done some things. But they may also charge a little uh, little premium to, to go to those higher higher traffic areas just because of Make sure you demand. don't supply and demand. Another one. Yeah, supply and demand. It's like you've got more people what, coming into the big place. What, what is the cost of teleportation? I got it. Oh, Someone's got it, it's not me. Because I'm gonna sit here and wait. Me too. <laughs> the fact... Okay. Wait, are you looking for teleportation circle or teleportation? Because teleportation circle uses, if you have a sigil, you can go there. Teleportation, you don't need the sigil. Right. Uh, whichever teleportation one costs. circle Circle's is going to be the cost of less. And materials, rare chalks so, and inks infused with precious gems worth 50 gold, which the spell consumes. 50 gold. 50 gold. Okay, and that's... That would no, be no, me. rare chalks and inks infused with precious gems. That's just the components. With... 50 gold. Oh. Yeah. What? So it's probably so a lot more than that. Yeah, you gotta get, you gotta pay for the gems, gold. chalk, and everything That's else. That's probably like 150 worth. Or 100 gotcha. worth. Uh, okay, so. Plus they gotta make a profit. That is not as much as I sort of or thought it was. Wait, what's, what's the limit on people do in something well, you don't do it for free. Is that just exactly. as many as can be? Okay. okay. So That's four people at a time. Any creature. Um, we're gonna say that. Is it each? If it's no. four people at a time, is it is that price be, each? Yeah, it would be, it would yeah. be for four. Okay. But yeah, up to four people. Because of the service that you render for the yeah. city, which is to say you saved it from being obliterated, uh, they're going to, this time, wave the transportation fees. I.e., they're going to throw them themselves. Fast travel. Uh, fast travel unlocked. Still <laughs> you have to find at least two locations first. Uh, and you have, technically, so that's, that works out. So, you step into the circles. Uh, ma'am, I, I hope you don't mind we're going to a lake. I know you need to so, go to the city on the lake. Quick comment about that, though. That's what my brother told me. So, the duration is one <laughs> round. That's not a lot to get. Anyone yes. who steps <laughs> into the circle within that one he round me on everything you're doing. appears within five That'll feet of the circle oh, on okay. the other side and unlocked. Well, and then you guys cast it once. Yeah, you cast it once okay. and we could all go through. Brilliant. That's good. Uh, so you are teleported to a Uh You arrive... I can do this someday. You arrive at the uh, university. That's where most of the teleport are. Of and uh, <laughs> there's a bit of surprise from the mage who's sort of overseeing it. So, uh, hi. Welcome, Timbo? Oh, <laughs> got it. Okay, fair yeah. enough. And you gotta make your way out. Um, 
this city is bigger than England. Probably the biggest city I've it ever seen. Much bigger. Uh, there are easily 250,000 people that live here. Uh, biggest city I've ever seen. It is bustling. There is a uh, ton of foot traffic. Wide cobblestone roads, where on horse-drawn and just magically driven carts go. Uh, the university is not really close to the docks, but you can, even from where you are, as you step outside the building, you can hear uh, one, you can smell the ocean, and two, you can hear. Seagulls, and you can actually see sails and ship masts and the sort of upper parts of ships. We're not far from uh, the ocean. Right. There are. Th this is a city uh, that actually is beginning to build upward because it's getting because so that big. it's getting a little crowded. Uh, they've because <laughs> if you look at it, and I'll kind of see. I'll kind of show you a little bit here. Uh, it's on a little it's, island. It, it's on a little island just outside of the, the bay. So like it's all the, all the way around it are docks. Uh, it is very big on, on import and export. And probably there, some really yes, freaking big, big bridges. Bridge. There are so three, three. three. There are three enormous bridges yeah, okay. that have lots uh, of foot traffic. That, that, well, that's too. It's too far, really. I mean, I guess you could. Work, <coughs> when I say foot traffic, I mean like the horse yeah. and carriage and stuff yeah. like that. It's Lots cool. of traffic. Yeah. Like London. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or water deep. <laughs> there are a number of street urchins meandering the town. Uh, you actually <laughs> notice them. I would I would recognize that immediately because yeah. I did that as a kid. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I did that as an adult. <laughs> so does she. <laughs> Across the way from the university, just a bunch of bastards, <laughs> is actually uh, one of the America. <laughs> America. Oh. Can't hear you over the sound of my freedom. <laughs> I have. Uh, notes for this kind of thing. At least I started to. Just Preparation. Preparation. Oh, <clears throat> uh, so while he's looking for that, Azora, when she's not just you know doing stuff around town, wears like sky blue robes and has two wands strapped to a belt on her waist. And a, a stone or a chain on her wrist. Cool. And she's also, you know, a deoful, so she has a tail and horns. Looks she very magical. Cool. Yeah. I like the two horns. It's kind of like having guns. Yeah, like, that looks like a cat lady. <laughs> um, Still a cat. What a... Still a cat lady. <laughs> Sketchy cat. Lady. Looks exact, almost exactly like like her brother, except boobs. Did 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 you get that wand of healing? Yep. Okay. She has it. So one of those is a wand of healing. And the, the other is the wand of the war mage. Oh, cool. Yeah. Plus two. Oh, uh, that's a plus. More than one. When you look across the road from the university building that you came from, uh, you notice very extravagant buildings, uh, very wealthy part of town known as the Noble District. Uh, this is where the well-to-do aristocracy live and you can hear it's very faint over the all all, all the white noise uh, of the various people walking around uh, but you can hear faintly uh, music coming from what you can only presume is some grown out of it have uh, what you're welcome to go wherever you want but there is a tavern. Uh, your contact within this. Uh, do we give that? Do we give that? 
the rogue you killed? I don't remember. She didn't have any anything like that. That's something we could probably get for next time. Yeah, we'll get that for next time. Uh, but their headquarters is in the seedier part of one of the docks. Naturally in a seedier so part of town. Not exactly a well like it is billboarded. Not, <laughs> not in a or advertised area. Well advertised area. Uh, you start to hear some of the wealthier people uh, just talking kind of as 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 they go to and fro uh, about uh, a slaughtered homeless man. Just decent like shred. Found as jelly. Found as jelly. Yeah. Gross. Uh, of course they're they're very snooty about it. And all the yes. stories sound different. Did you put him on your toes? <laughs> Sorry, that's probably <laughs> That is fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> seems snooty to me. Put him on your toes. <laughs> he was wow. found there was jelly. jelly. Did you hear his found his jelly? <laughs> <laughs> he was great this was morning for breakfast. Yeah, it was not, not, not good. Um, they didn't make jokes like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they have more taste than that, darling. Than the jelly. <laughs> 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 uh, apparently, it was not. This is not the first time that this event has taken place. But it's only the poor people who are affected. We got a slasher. Uh, no. Oh. No oh dear. Uh, now jelly. you don't pick up a lot more than that. Only that uh, there, there seems to be a bit of a werewolf. Uh, the werewolf. A ripper. Werewolf. It's yeah, attention, we'll, kind yeah, of. They don't seem to feel like they're affected by it, as a lot of the rich people do. Uh, rich people are assholes, this is understood. Yeah. So. <laughs> Welcome uh, to the world, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to tell them about the dream that I had. Like, hey, I saw this in the dream. That's so not a good thing. It was scary. They, they, <laughs> What's uh, happened in the dream? We saw her get murdered. <laughs> oh, you tell these guys But, about but that. what did the murder? Yeah, the park. What? What did the murder? It was a demon thing looking thing. I don't know. It was dark. Demon thing looking thing. Like shark claws and... There was a Can you draw it for us? us? <laughs> yeah, I'll draw it. <laughs> I'll the claws. I, was, I tried to draw it for them. Okay. Uh, give me a... We did dexterity for this last time. Dexterity. Yeah, plus one. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. This is a stick figure. <laughs> it looked like this. It appears to be. You're Bob Ross. You're supposed to be able to do this. It appears to be a tall, uh, very thin creature. Slender. And its fingers uh, was my guess. are exceedingly long. Salad it's fun. Salad fingers, Slenderman. I like the <laughs> rusty kettle. <laughs> you can do some investigating if you want uh, to try and acquire more information. Oh, I can do that. Make sure I can also What? That's it is time. Close the time. So we have made it to the city. Uh, this will give me, thankfully, because I have a break next week. Let's give me some time to find out wrap. some more. Like, well, like 33 days left? Some more things. If, no, at this point, you have 35. 35 days left. Okay. Because we just skipped here instead of traveled here. Indeed. Very, uh, very <laughs> handy. we got to save the veil, guys. That's the only reason I'm doing this, is to save all the other people. Not just just said. <laughs> yeah. I haven't mentioned that I'm going to die. We don't need this. <laughs> <laughs> gotta help the folks. And that's the game, you guys. Uh, again, we will not be having next uh, next week. We're off. Because that is our break week. And then we'll be starting back up oh. Friday after that. And it'll be oh. a Friday, Friday break, Friday, Friday break again until... That didn't work at all. Uh, Eli. Foreseeable. Do you hear that joke? Unless something happens. 
So I don't need that now. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for making it though. Okay, cool. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. We, we all liked it too. It is a happy compromise. <laughs> Thank, thanks for making that card, man. Compromise. I don't need yeah. that. Yeah, well, I, it's cool. I'm actually glad that you guys have a full caster. Yes. Now, now I'm, yeah, no, uh, I was about to say. My name is Crowley, though. Yeah. She's just as crazy. Still curly, just and here's, here's the thing. If she Better. dies <laughs> or <laughs> decides to leave, there is a third twin. They, they were triplets. Excellent. I don't know which third one's so supposed to be. Sit on the McAdill with the devil. Whatever the fuck you want. I am going to court her. This should be okay. fun. I haven't played a female character in a very long time in D&D. We have three females in our party. Have. Wait, is that the one you want on the date? Yeah. Yeah. Probably what? not going to yeah. that party thing. She joined the party. Right? So, is your, you might think that uh, you're... What was that on next party? She liked you that much. She liked you that much. She's going to be like a crazy girlfriend game. I'll never leave you. See you in two weeks. Good night, everybody. Yes.